Check out some uh, cool racing seats. So these are the chairs that we like from Grid Partners. They're Tillit uh, Racing Carbon Fiber Chairs. This is how their uh, cool showroom looks like. So he's trying out their um, simulator here. Oh, yeah. I haven't driven stick forever. <laughs> You're not in the track no I more. <laughs> it's her turn. You still remember how to drive stick? And she's still off-roading. She's getting the hang of it now. Remember guys, we used to have a S2K and an Evo. All right, so this is the chair and seat belt that we got from Grid Partners. And this was the first chair, first Tillit Racing Seat B9 that we got. Alright, so um, this will be now our second time going back to Grid Partners in Los Angeles. Yep. Uh, we are now picking up uh, seats number two. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> we finally got it. <laughs> we finally got it. Um, it was in uh, back order. I I'm excited. Here. I know. Am I good on the right? Yeah, you are. You're good on my side. Right here. It comes right down. here. So we are back here and checking out all their new stuff here. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. She's going to try on all of the seats. Here's all the belts. Yep. You're, you ain't moving. That's it. There's their simulator right there. Here's all their uh, racing gear, all their safety racing gear. Here's some of their racing oils right here. Steering wheels. Look at this cool Porsche. So this is our first step. Yeah. Removing the harness belt. So we have it rolled up and zip tied and yeah. we're just removing, cutting the zip ties. So we just finish uh, unscrewing the chair, mm -hmm. uh, we started doing the driver's side first and we're now going to place it on the ground yeah. and uh, remove the bracket. Transfer the bracket, uh, remove the bracket and transfer the bracket. the bracket. So we're now removing the bracket. Yeah, now I just need to find the right tool. Yep, we're gonna find the right tool and then we're gonna transfer it over to our new Tillit racing seats. For us to remove the bolts, uh, we had to push yeah this bracket down so first we uh remove the first two bolts and then after removing that we had to push it down and then remove the last remaining two bolts right yeah. there we kind of mock plate everything yet mm -hmm. no screws are tied uh, we have to make actually a special hole because um the brackets are not fitting we understand why because we have a sparko slider yeah. and this is a tillet uh, seat so we were thinking maybe we should just buy a tillet slider or just make a hole yeah so anyways we're just mocking it right now and this is how it looks so far and we're about to test fit it he's hopping in oh okay so regular 
I can't see jack squat. <laughs> That's it. So I, I would have to be, be like this on my toes the whole time. Yeah. And we can't really adjust this. So um, we'll figure something out. So we have one set back here. Our slider uh, does not match our bracket here. So there's the hole connecting right there. And here's the two holes that uh, should have bolted on but it can't so we would have to drill a hole or yeah we would have to make and drill our own hole right there so we just finished using our drill to make our own customized hole right there and we just finished spraying it with some steel it we're just letting this one dry so now the brackets will fit we are now screwing everything back on. So we are screwing uh, this bracket to the slider. And then from here, we're going to, uh, we just finished also adjusting our seats. So from there, we're going to put our seats now to the bracket. We finally made the seat adjustment. It took us a while. We made our custom hole and everything's perfect. Yeah. I adjusted the steering wheel to a lower setting uh -huh. so I could get my visibility back. Yeah. And yeah. here's the funny part. I got my little uh, cushion uh, seat yeah. right here. Yeah. So, so it gives me like an inch or not an inch, probably like half an inch like or something. About almost half an inch height. Yeah. But I'm back to normal to my uh, Sparco height. Okay. Perfect. So, oh, and another note, it's really comfortable. You guys yeah. think like, oh crap, it's carbon fiber, uh -huh. it's gonna suck, but no, everything's all good. So we have to use our drill again, because uh, our sub belt, seat belts couldn't fit. So what we did was, um, we got this piece right here, and now it fits. Alright, so now we have to go to this side to make the hole uh, just a little bit bigger. So we already got the brackets, the chair, all bolted down and installed. Now we are doing the seat belts. This is our first time ever using our uh, new Tillet Racing carbon fiber V9 seats. And um, at first it took me a while to get adjusted. I am wearing a memory seat foam. time to also debuting our all new Tillit racing seats and our uh, new Sabelt four point harness belt. And this is our setup right here, guys. This is just our nice, simple setup right now. Guys, so we haven't been here for a while at King's Hawaiian Bakery and Restaurant. And I got me their Kalbi ribs with rice, potato salad, and kimchi. And she got the oxtail soup oh my gosh and this is her sides right there and this is how the place looks like kind of feels like you're kind of actually in hawaii in a way yeah. right so we got dessert and we got ourselves a paradise cake hawaiian paradise cake wow this looks good okay yeah. let's, let's do this 